All right, last morning in Milan. I'm like here in the apartment wrapping things up, all our luggage there, and we're about to head off into the mountains, which I'm very excited about because I think as you all know, I love the Alps. So yeah, the rest of the group is hanging out at a cafe and getting ready to go. So yeah, I've enjoyed the city. There, there are some things about it I didn't expect, but it's definitely been a good experience. All right, goodbye Milan. This is our noble steed that's gonna take us and where we were staying. It's been good. Anything we need to do before we leave? Except get in the car and go. Can you get in that side? I did. Whoa, it's like super <laughs> narrow parking. Welcome to Italy. Are you okay? Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> One limb at a time. Okay, so we're literally sitting at a stoplight and I'm sharing a stoplight with a train. It's just pretty cool. It's also very weird for my poor American brain to get yeah. used to this. <laughs> oh, and we got like bicyclists and, but it, anyway, there's just a lot more going on on the streets in America. Those streets are much more like car and that's it. Yeah, exactly. Like back home, it'd be like just cars basically yep. here. Oh wait. Oh, let's throw a bus in. We got a bus too and a, and a motorbike right over there and a bus. Oh, yeah. with a, with a bendy thing in the middle. We're green. We're green. All right. I'm going to video and drive. Don't do this at home kids. Actually, I'm not going to do that. It's too Okay. Idea. Good idea. I'll take that for you. <laughs> So after a few days in the city of Milan, Italy, we made a trip up to the mountains. There's something profound about moving through nature at such an unusual scale. Where I live in America, we don't have mountains anywhere close to this size and especially not this steep. So the woods here are like straight out of a movie or something. The rock and vines so we're just on the other side of the valley where we're staying doing a little exploring they have trails all over these mountains it's a dream of mine one day to come back here and spend a couple weeks just hiking through all these trails like pretty nice well well mapped um if you're ever here it's that symbol right there the red and the white designates the trail okay it's hard to see on camera, just, it, it's bigger than it looks, but like the mist, like we're, we're getting wet literally here. We're not even close to it yet. Um, obviously, yeah, gorgeous rainbow. Oh man, he's gonna get soaked. He's gonna get so wet, oh my word. Wow. Oh man, he got so wet. Oh, that rainbow is incredible. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not sure if the camera can really show it, but it's like just this wave of moisture because of the wind. It's just this wave of moisture, so like my camera is soaked. I'm surprised these shots are clear uh, because the lens is just covered with water, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I mean, it can't hurt taking a camera really close to water, right? Nah, look at, oh, that, that wind is intensely wet. You can just see, you can just see the water just rippling off at me. <laughs> oh, this lens is so wet. Okay, now you can't see anything. All right, full on retreat. Okay, I think my lens is way too wet for this. I think we're done. Can't get any closer. Oh, that's in, that is, wow, that's refreshing. It's like a misted shower all over your face. Well, that was cool. So apparently the water from that is coming from a lake like way up in the mountains and there's a village up there and things. There's something that borders on magical about the Alps. I'm not sure I can explain it. Perhaps it's the stunning mountains, perhaps it's the lush forests, or maybe it's the little villages and farms, or the rich, deep history that runs through these hills. 
Whatever it is, whenever I'm in these mountains, the experience borders on indescribable. There's something about the grandness of this extravagant display of nature that is so humbling and grounding for our lives. And just like that, we are in Switzerland. We were staying close to the border and figured we'd drive up here and I was not anticipating how much bigger everything is as far as mountains go. Um, <laughs> this lake is absurd. And so, of course, we have no other option but to fly the drone. My wife and Sterling went cruising up this trail, I think. So I'm gonna go find them. They said there's a nice view up here. Oh, oh boy. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have no idea if this is where I'm supposed to go. This is like very thick, almost like carpet, grass or something, very spongy. Okay, found her. But whoa, this little bench. Tons of trails all over the mountains. I mean, look at the view. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the mountain. I don't even know what elevation we're at, but we're up there pretty far, and we're about to go up a lot further. Right there, cable cars. So we made it to the top. And it's very hard to appreciate the scale, like even in person. Uh, wow. I'm not exactly sure how high we are. I think a little less than 3,000 meters. I don't know. For the Americans, that's like, what is that, 10,000 feet? So nothing like insane, but the fact that we just like zerped on up here in the middle of nowhere, super rugged. Sterling, yes. what are your words? Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, wow. So descriptive. Yes. We made it to but the top. It's... So we, we struggled and strove and inched our way up this mountain. It took us like all day and we finally summited. Yes. Not, not real. Nearly died. Yeah. We rode a cable car. It took six and a half minutes. Almost got car sick. Which by the way, Swiss engineering is amazing. Like that cable car is amazing how Fast. they did that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what do we do? We're on top of a mountain. We just stand here? Or... I think so. We decide how long we want to be here. Okay. And then we leave. There's also a glacier over there that we should go see. I've never seen a glacier actually like like in the mountains. Yeah. Okay. It's good stuff. I would, I, would recommend. I mean, now what do we do? We should go get coffee. We should go so. get coffee. That's a yeah. good idea. Ooh, There's yeah. a restaurant here. Okay. okay, see ya. Wait, we should have a picture of us up here, shouldn't we? Okay, so we're on top of the Alps and I'm like in my cloth sneakers. Uh. <laughs> Should be alright. I'm getting a little cold. And the uh, the problem with these shoes is they have zero tread, so I'm kind of like all slipping everywhere. But hey, what could go wrong, right? Was not prepared for this at all. That took to happen. Like, it took so long. So that's a legit glacier. I don't think I've ever been that close to one before, especially in this part of the world. That's really something. You can see how it's pushed a lot of the gravel and rock around. That'd be really fun to go down there and see these formations. That is really interesting. I'm not sure if it's if you're allowed to walk on it or it's just a lot of ice. And given this is my first one, I'm impressed, but I'm sure there's many much bigger ones in the world.
So speaking of finding out of the way places, um, yeah, we definitely found one. So this is right off the road, nestled in the Alps. If you enjoyed this video, here's another that you'll find interesting. Subscribe to my email newsletter. And by the way, I have a second YouTube channel where I post a lot of the footage that doesn't make it into these main videos. It's linked below and here on the screen. That's just pretty incredible. Which, travel tip, in uh, Italy, a latte just means milk. So if you ask for a latte, you get steamed milk, which is great, because that's exactly what we wanted. And then of course, espresso just off to the side. So careful when you come here, if you order a latte, it's not like in America. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.